G'day, I'm Gary Pye. Uh, I couldn't wait. I woke up this morning and I was way too excited to not get into this. So we're going to do some live streaming this morning. The reason for this is because uh, this morning what I want to do is I want to take my new character of Cliff and I'm going to do some color management on him. So I thought for those of you that are interested in creating your own characters, you can check this out, follow along and see exactly how to do color management because you can read all the text you want and if you're anything like me you're not going to learn anything until you actually see someone do it or get in hands-on and do it yourself so let's get into it what i'm going to do i'm going to do a half hour of color management just to get you started show you what to do because it's very repetitive and once you start it's the same thing over and over so you won't have any problem there and then in a half hour's time, I'll do Q&A, and if there's anything you want to know, anything you want to learn, ask me, we'll go through it. So I don't know how the live streaming is going to work moving forward, uh, whether it's going to be structured, whether it's going to be chaos, it's probably going to be chaos, but hopefully this will help you guys out and give you a little bit more hands-on to what I do and show you. All right, let's get started. Let's bring up Cliff. Now, Cliff is finished with the exception of color management. That's all I've got to do with him now. So there's Cliff. So <clears throat> once you bring your character into Cartoon Animator, we're going to hit on Composer Mode and take him through to Composer Mode. And then we can set up all his color management, which is not a hard thing to do. It's, it's, just, it's repetitive and it's boring, but it's not hard. Okay, so over on the side here, we have the SVG Group Editor. Click that and that will bring you up the option of to either group by color or group by sprites. I choose group by color. I've never done group by sprites. Don't even know what it does. I'll experiment with that later on. But for now, I know group by color works for me. Hit process and that brings up all the individual elements that make up this character. Now you've got two columns. You've got full and sprite. If you go to full, it gives you every single grouped color in the character. This character's only got 56 groups, should take about an hour to color group him, so that's not too bad. Some characters like the Alien Squad have 150 groups, that takes a lot longer. Um, and basically, if you click on a group, it will start to flash, like you can see inappropriately just below his groin there. Um, that is the section, there we go, the right thigh, path six and five, make up that area okay so all we've got to do is to take them all and put them into little individual folders so that when you click on that folder the entire section of his pants will come up together uh good morning steve how are you this morning yes happy pie day um yeah so you've got the full selection there and then you've got the sprite selection there if you click on the sprite selection right that will bring up whatever area you're working on. And let's say we're working on his hip there, right? These with the little arrow alongside of it are the areas that make up this particular sprite, okay? The reason this, the reason sprite is handy is because once we get to his face, right? And we get to his eyes, for instance, the eyes have multiple sprites. So they won't all come up on screen at once when you click full. So by going to sprite, and if you hold down Alt and scroll, scroll in, then it will show you that the group one, that's the eye black around the outside of the eye. Group 10, that's the actual eye, eye color. Okay. Um, <clears throat> one other feature on this that's really cool before you actually get started in grouping it is down the bottom here, you have the transparent button. So if you click that, it makes your character go transparent. And therefore, any object that's hidden behind another object, you're going to see it. it may, sometimes it just makes finding things much easier. See, uh, that is blinking his eyes. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's probably not a good example. Uh, there, there, there's his hair. So even though that some of the hair is at the back of his head, it's all going to flash to show you what you're working on. But you really only need to use transparent if you can't find what you're looking for. So... Let's get in, and for the next half hour, 20 minutes, half hour, what we'll do is we'll start grouping everything, and I'll show you how to do it. So, up at unknown here, 
we're lucky. There's unknown is anything that CTA five doesn't know, can't work out where the piece goes or what it's related to. So we're lucky we don't have anything there. That's because he was built really good. Okay, so let's to start with down here. I'm going to add a new folder, new group, and I'm going to call that body because that will be all his body bits. And then I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to call it clothing. It's going to be all his clothing. Haha, <laughs> you're ahead of me. So, therefore, if we click on this group here, we can see, as it's flashing there just below his groin, that this is part of his pants. Therefore, if we rename this group pants, we can drop all of the sections that are his pants into this folder. Okay? So, you can click on it on the character or you can click on it on the list. So, this piece here we know is part of his pants. And there it is highlighted for you. So if we take that, left click, hold it down, drag it up. If we drop that into the pants folder, now when I click on pants, all of those pieces will highlight. Then if I click on the next one, it will automatically find it for me on the list. Same thing, hold it down, come up to pants, drop it in there. And the last one, there it is there, grab it, bring it up into pants, drop it down. Now when I click on pants, his entire leg will highlight. So let's finish his pants off so that we've got an entire group done. So we know this section here is his pants. We're going to bring that up, hold down the left mouse button, drag it up. That goes in there. We know this part of his hip, that's pants. Drag it up, put it in there. See what I mean? whole process is so repetitive. Like, it's not hard. It's just getting your head around it for the first time. This part, hip, bring it up. The main part of his left leg, bring it up, drop it in. Hey, Joe, how are you, bud? Uh, and the other part of his thigh, bring it up, drop it in. So now we've got, click on his pants. All of his pants are the same color. They're all in the same group. Okay, so now we can collapse that. And we know we've got clothing up here. So grab your pants, drop them into the clothing folder. Come on, drop into the clothing folder. There we go. Drop it into the clothing folder. And now when we enlarge the clothing folder, we've got pants. Then you do the shirt, then you do the skin, etc., 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 and break all your parts down. Now what I'll do, I will show you how I do the eyes because the eyes have multiple sprites and you can't see them all on screen at once so that gets a little bit tricky okay so under the body there let's create a new folder and we'll call it eyes simple enough now if you want to customize it so that your customers can customize all their little parts of the character the more you break it up the more customization they're going to have so you can have the eyes and put everything into one folder but it's all going to change together. What I do is I do the eye white, the iris, the eye color, and then the trim around the outside of the eye as well, because that's black, it's not going to change color. So if we go, well, let's zoom in so that we can see the eyes. There we go. If I click on the eye down here, you can see that that is the eye white for that eye. Okay. But the left eye actually has about eight different, nine different sprites. And you can only see one, but we need to pick all nine. That's why we'll go to Sprite. Make life easier for us. When you click on Sprite, it's going to bring up all your eyes at once. Okay? So let's make it a little bit easier to see because whatever object you pick from here, when you highlighted Sprite, that's what's going to come up. So if we click, where's the mouth? Where's the mouth? Mouth's another one that's got heaps of sprites. Here we go. So if we click the mouth, then it's going to bring up all the mouths for us. You hold down Alt and drag with your left mouse button. That's going to bring up all your mouths. And again, you can click on that inner mouth part. And if you click on, it finds it for you on the list. But if you click on the group, boom, there's all your inner mouth parts. You group all those together, call it inner mouth, put it into the body folder, and then you can just change the color of the mouth. Makes life nice and easy. But let's get back to the eyes and do the eyes since that was what we were talking about. 
So if we click on the left eye, it brings up all the eye sprites. Okay. So now what we want to do is let's do, we'll do the eye white first. So if we go to the body eyes, we now need to create a folder and we'll call it eye white. You can call it whatever you want. You can do it. Oh, I'm so anal. Look at this. I have to correct the H. It's got to look tidy. So we know, let's work out the parts we're going to break up. We've got the eye whites. We've got the eye color. Right. We're going to have the iris. And then we'll, we've got the outer trim. I don't know. Eyelashes, outer trim. We'll just call it um, eye trim. That's the little black area around the outside. Okay. So they're the only parts that we've got. All we need to do now is find them, grab them, bring them all into this folder, and then you can individually customize them. And I'll show you how to do that. So if we click on the white of the eye, it'll find it for us. So if I click on that full group, it automatically selects them all. Um, okay. Uh, what, I, what I'm going to do, job, just, just what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'll finish this off. And then I'll go through and I'll answer, I'll, I'll go to uh, about another 15 minutes, then I'll go through and I'll answer all questions. And I'm happy to go through and, and do everything, but that way it'll keep everything going. Okay, so with the eye white, we've got all that selected. We know group 45 is the eye white. Okay, so if we grab uh, by pressing the first one and then holding down shift and hit the last one, we've now selected all of the whites of the eye. Grab it. Hold down the left mouse button, drag it up, find where we've got eye white, and drop them all in there. Now, body, eyes, eye white, when I click on it, boom, there's all my eye whites. So easy, so easy. Um, also, in body, we'll create one more folder because we want one called skin. Okay? So, now if I click on his skin, oh, there's some of the skin of his eye. So group 36 is all the skin of his eye. So again, we're going to grab it. So if you get the shift, so that you can select them all at once, we're going to bring it up to the top. And we're going to drop that into skin. There we go. But there's more skin. There's the trim there. We click on one. It brings them all up. Group 14 is all the dark trim. I mean, this is the way this is organized is so easy. There's just, it, it, it's as easy for character creation. It's as easy as you could possibly ask for. You know, years ago they did this. It was not this easy. Now, whew, as I said, I'll take. If I wanted to do this full character, it's going to take me about an hour, roughly, to do the full management of all the, the color here. That's all there is to it. So now you got the outer group two is the what we're going to call the eye trim, which is just the area around the outside of the eye. We'll put that in there. There's your eye trim. Okay. What else have we got? We've got the color, oh, we got the eye color, the main eye color. Okay. And it all blinks for me, so we're all good. The eye color, up we come, drop it in there. Now we've also got that little circle on the inside. There it is. Now, here's an interesting point. Why do I drop this in? And here's an interesting point. If you sit there and that's gonna go into eye color. Okay. If you sit there and you go, oh, I don't know if I've picked all the pieces that I need, right? The easiest way to do it is to know we've got the eye selected, okay? So now, if we scroll down this list, any of these groups that comes up with a little triangle alongside of it means we haven't grouped it yet. How good is that? So, if we expand that, check out this group, it was an extra group of skin that we hadn't picked up. So all we've got to do is to grab them, come up to the top, skin, drop it into the skin. Now, once that's done, you can delete these other groups. Once they're empty, you can delete them because we only need the new groups that we're creating. So that's a good idea. Um, okay, so what else have we got? Let's scroll down, Is it, have we missed any? Have we missed any? Yes, group 47, ah, that'll be the iris. Click on that, boom, iris. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna grab that uh, I don't know what time it is for you guys, but it's 20 past eight in the morning for me. And I, you know what? I could do this all day. This is so much fun. Uh, so Iris, drop that into the Iris. There was one more down the bottom here. That'll be the eye white. Oh no, it'll be the Iris again. It'll be the dot and the Iris. So boom, grab it, 
bring it up. We're not going to do the whole character. You can see how this is done. It's all repetitive beyond here. If, what did I say? It was the iris. Okay. If you, if you need me to do this again or you need me to do it more detailed, I'm happy to do it because I'm going to be doing it in any case. Okay. So let's go up. Now, let's go back to full and check out what we've done. So let's scroll in, holding the Alt key and move it around. Bring up Cliff's eye. Go to the top. And we've got get out of there close those up on the body we've got our eye group okay if I click on eyes his left eye will now blink entirely because that's the whole section okay but we've broken it down because we're clever so we have ah ah aha look what happened you'll see that one two three four five six of these items here didn't go into the folder they went into the eye folder, but they didn't go into the iris folder. I missed. So that's that's a good thing. Always make sure, bring them up now and go into the iris. Okay. Always make sure that when you collapse all your folders, you only see folders, you don't see files. If you see files, they're not in the folder. They need to be in the folder. Ah, that was a good little tip. So now we can go to the eye trim. Okay. We can go to the iris. We can go to the eye color. We can go to the eye white. Now I'm going to show you why we do all this. I'm going to save Cliff by clicking over right. I'm going to save Cliff because I've just done all that and I don't want to have to go through and do it all again because once I finish this, I'm going to go and finish Cliff so we can get him into the marketplace and make some money. Okay. If we go back to stage mode now, I'll show you what we've done. Going back. So now if we zoom in on Cliff, if we zoom in on Cliff, now keep in mind we've only done the pants and one eye, but this will give you a good idea. So if we go into the eye, if somebody's working with Cliff and goes, oh, nice looking character, but I don't want blue eyes, I want different colored eyes. Then once you, right, I, I went too fast, let me do that again. Then once you select your character and you go to SVG color management and click it, it's going to bring up all your color management for you. Okay. Hey, Andrew. How are you, my friend? Um, so if you click on the body, and we click on his eyes. There's the eyes that we just set up, right? So if we click on the eye, eye color, that's the obvious one. If we click on the eye color, we can now change the opacity, the brightness, the contrast, the hue, and the saturation. So if we don't want him to have blue eyes, we want him to have blurry red eyes because he's been on the Terps all afternoon, we can change the hue. We can move it to whatever color we want. So let's say we give him the green eye. The other eye doesn't move because we haven't grouped it yet. Once you group it, they'll all go together. So we've changed the hue. Now, if we go down to the Sprite Editor, bring up the face, go to his left eye. We've got all these different eye sprites. Okay, hi Mike. Hey Tanya. Um, now, whichever one, oh, that's the left one, you goose. Not the left eye. So now, when I click eye squint, boom, the eye, will, the eye color will automatically change. Hit sad, boom, changes. Angry, boom, changes. <laughs> it does it all for you. It's so cool. And therefore, if we go down to his pants, because we haven't done the full character, but we did do his pants as well. If we go down to his pants, okay, and we want to change we want to change his pants color we go into svg mode again this time go to clothing go to pants opacity brightness contrast hue saturation whatever you want to change if you don't want cliffy wearing blue pants hit a button give him green give him nice oh there we go beautiful nice pink pants you can change the brightness of it so you can have nice soft pink pants or you can be wearing black pants you name it so honestly that's it. That's, 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 it looks like he's in his pajamas now. Um, so that's all there is to color management. Okay. I can go through and do the full character and I'm happy to do that. But for now, this is just a nice, easy introduction to it. Okay. So what say I finished that there. And for the next half hour, if you want, we can just do 